Hello everybody, I am Moni, the founder of Imoni Showroom Paris. We are a digital and offline sales agency with an in-house design, marketing and PR office in Paris in fashion and lifestyle. Our goal is to help young and transforming brands to create and to launch in the international market. As such, it is my pleasure to introduce you to Clyde Loungewear. A brand that has a feminine and bold style. We are much happy about the collaboration, so let me tell you all about Cleed. The Cleed brand was founded by Carolina Guedes Cruz, a dynamic entrepreneur with two ruling passions in her life fashion and wildlife conservation. Carolina inherited both of these passions from her family, who set the standards for all she does today. Listen to what she said about it. Africa speaks to me in the most elemental way. I live in a state of permanent wonder, walking barefoot in the rust-red earth, losing myself under the star-filled indigo sky. Best of all, Africa fires my creativity in terms of prints, patterns, colors, and textures. So Africa, in capital letters. And so, Cleed, the Africans for robe, was born. Embracing today's laid-back chic lifestyle, Cleed pieces are swish, casual and quirky, taking sophisticated women effortlessly from a day at the beach to an evening party with friends. Carolina's Africa is ever-present, from partnering with local NGOs to protect the white rhino, creating wildlife prints in rich savanna hues, embroidering an African animal on every article, and the colorful Maasai beads on every clothing label. So here comes the moment which we were all waiting for. I'm going to introduce you the entire collection of Cleed Loungewear. The brand sorts their garments in three different styles kimono, a pyjama, and a robe. I'm sure everybody can find what they like best and what fits best their personality. So let's start with the blue Zambia kimono. This style has a beautiful powder pink base with lovely flower prints contrasting with a checkered blue and white base belt and neckline. If you prefer the blue and white, then you might want to consider the blue Zambezi kimono, which is exactly that is, a blue and white checkered kimono with a contrasting pink base, flowery print belt or neckline. An alternative is the black Zambia pyjama. It is very comfy, dynamically colored, and the red makes the pyjama look just divine. Next up is the black Zambezi kimono. If you want to be even more chic, more feminine while wearing this black Zambezi kimono, you can wear the red belt around your head, not just around your waistline. Gorgeous piece. Next article 
is the black sun basin pajama it's a classic with a black and white tucker print it is all the comfort and the right aesthetic that you need in a pajama You may want to consider the red Zambia kimono, which really portrays Crete's feeling, which is an emotion beyond each of the loungewear crease. Feel the vintage inspirations of the black Vichy and the little flower that will accompany during your re relaxation. Next up is the green Zambia pyjama. One has to admire this green, an emerald green, with a great contrast, pinky sleeves. You have the same color. In green Zambia kimono, but the pink takes the takes the emphasis, and the green white checkered print becomes the contrast around the waist and the neckline. Adopt this kimono piece and be ready to roll up those pinky sleeves. Now we arrived another kind of universe, which is the wild. Kingdom pyjama. An elegant pyjama, which is when you are wearing it, makes you feel like you are in a safari. You are a queen of safari. The same set of colors will take you to a kimono and an even better sleep. Next up is the pink Amazonia pyjama that is also transformed into a kimono, should you prefer that. Alternatively, a robe that is equally good to sort to go out and have a drink. Next up is the Mozonia pyjama. With mysterious colours. Prompting a deeper sleep. This style, just as the others, also are available in kimono or as a robe. Jungle fever's dynamic colours will make you wish to go to the jungle. Or you don't like the pyjamas, then how about kimono? No matter what version, all of them looks great on all body types. Next is Bengal Tiger pyjama, a favorite with UK ladies. A little savage compared to the others. Comes also equally in kimono. Or as a robe. Ah, this is my personal favorite. Zaire kimono, either in green. 
very very chic i love this minimalistic print or in pink well pink is my personal favorite so uh, but it's everybody you know can pick and choose uh, green is very stylish at the moment at the same time oh but this is extreme sophistication with the black drop kimono Next is the green tiger kimono. Great contrast with the Ferrari red. Triangles on a white or off white base. Yeah, very intense. Can wake you up from a short sleep. Really, the details make all the difference. I love the tiger on the back. Then comes the electric tiger kimono. <gasps> wow, stunning, stunning red. It's like a strawberry red with the blue, electric blue uh, tiger. Who would not want that? Fabulous, especially against the black skin. Mm, super. Then comes the white dots kimono. An intemporal look. Everybody will like this one. And the pink tiger in the back is amazing. I really think that the embroidery makes it so special. Yeah. Blue dots kimono, uh, the papillon, the butterfly. It's for romantics, yeah. Dots are never out of fashion. Or the black version, equally good. Now comes Zimbabwe kimono, an entirely different feel, feeling. It's gorgeous. Especially on blondes. Congo kimono. Ethnic sensation. Then comes the emerald green kimono. This is an authentic ethnic pattern that looks so fab. Let wear it for a simple day out in the garden. Next comes the savanna kimono. These are classic colors and the pink zebra is just so funny. Who wouldn't want that? The color combinations of Caroline are fab. Black, white, green doesn't ever go out of fashion. Ah, Daniali. Kimono. Well, it's an entire different print. Ever evergreen kimono. Fabulous butterfly in white. Next is the indigo tiger kimono. There's a brute tonality. Indigo blue with white. For our tomboys, being feminine, perhaps. 
and then the khaki or the safaris or the white tiger and then finally the matte kimono we calling the earth the soil of the african countryside and then a holder for sophistication and then finally we have the buck dress that is just a perfect over any bathing suit in two different colors Thank you so much for listening. I hope the introduction to Cleats Collection was interesting for you. And I hope to see you again. Bye. Don't forget to click on the links below.